Hello everyone, and welcome to the European Grand Prix. So it is of course career mode then, we're trying to power through this season before the end of the life cycle of this game, so before the launch of F1 2013 really. I'm in Force India, I'm starting from the back of the grid you can see there, and it is also live commentated. So let's start with the teammate then, still kicking his ass. The only thing he's really beat on, beating me on is qualification, and of course I haven't been qualifying. And he's got one fastest lap over me in a couple of points. So strategy then, let's start with the primes. And then go to the options, so I can cautious fuel. Now unfortunately, I've got a standard setup again. Was not intentional. I did a couple of practice laps. Accidentally pressed quit instead of return to garage. Went back into the game, went straight to the race. But it's now locked me into the default setup. So a little bit annoying. I was looking forward to this race. Not quite so sure I am anymore, but we'll see how it goes. I have no idea what my pace was. I was a lot quicker than them, it must be said, in practice at least. A good few seconds quicker than them. So maybe this will level it, out, level it out a bit, but we'll see. I do like to run my proper league setup when I'm starting from the back. Because it tends to make it a bit better, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I might still manage to clinch the win. And of course then, just three points ahead of Lewis Hamilton in the driver's uh What's it called? Championship. That's the one. <laughs> that it's live. Three points ahead of Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship then. So I need to try and outscore him if I can or at least be very close to him. So we've got four lights then. Five lights. We're behind just two HRTs as per usual then. So straight to H then. Here we go. Doing not a great job. Minimize Wilson. We've got a bit of curves which HRTs haven't got. I'm going to use all of it I think. Going to try and get a couple of car cars off the start. Three overtakes but I'm running wide here under steer and I've managed to bring it back just about. And I don't want to go the inside of Cove line there. That'll be a big crash. Try on the outside. Oh, Smooshers managed to overtake me. Nice move. Whoa. But then that was terrible from the AI there. That was actually a really nice move from the Marusha there, it must be said. Can't get through there. I'm going to go for it now, though. Well, they're horribly slow off this start, but I <laughs> still can't believe that move, move that Marusha just did. So the rest is alongside me there. He's not going to back out of it, but I'm going to have to outbreak him and go up the inside of the Sabres while he tries to squeeze me. And winds up running wide. Not my fault. You went out there yourself. So already up to P10 then after just a couple of corners. He's trying to stick close to Raikkonen now to get lots of slipstream. I'm not sure where Hamilton is. I expect he's probably a bit further up. Going to stick to Rich for now. Try and stick with these guys ahead. Uh, I don't really know where to break with the high fuel. Apparently I do. Cut the corner a bit there. Let's be careful of that. As I'm already past my teammate which is good. So I'm already out racing him. But he's only just behind me. It looks like I've gained a bit on Raikkonen ahead, which is good. Need to, as I said, push to try and stick with him, get a bit of slipstream on him. But they're battling a little bit, so that should be slowing them up. 1.1 to Raikkonen then. Just out of the DRS, which we will get on lap 3, of course. So, come on. I've certainly got a similar pace to them, at least on this first lap. But I wouldn't say I'm quicker. I just don't actually get slowed down for that corner there, which isn't easy to do. Why is there a yellow flag? They're all side by side, so it might have happened in the final corner. Slowing each other up nicely. And is Hamilton one of these? Is that McLaren there? That could be Burton or Hamilton. I'm going to go for Raikkonen into this first corner then. Going to try and outbreak him. And that is indeed Hamilton. Just going to stick alongside him. As he decided for some reason there to run out into the barrier. The yeah, AI aren't great when you're alongside them. Ooh, so I thought I ran wide there, but the force had a better grip than I thought. So come on, stick close to Hamilton. He's my championship rival. If nothing else, I just need to beat him for now. But if we keep scoring badly, I'm sure someone will catch up. Just over a second to Hamilton then. Oh, I almost clipped the power as I did in my league race. Hear that? Oh no, didn't want to be doing that. That's going to put me very slow off this corner. He's had half my curse just to try and defend against Raikkonen. He's going to be in my slipstream and I've lost time to Hamilton. This isn't good. So I know he's a little way back, gonna break a little bit later in the last lap. So made the corner easily and still made the corner easily, really. Of course, I'm on primes, the guys around me are on options, so that's a good thing for me. He's rest of my curves now, then. Try and close with Hamilton. There will be DRS next lap, so, and he's trying to get inside a second of him again. I might just be there, it's gonna be close. Just outside, look at that. Five thousandths, I was right, it was close. Come on, push now. Stick with him. He lost a little bit of time in that section, but not a lot. I'm in his slipstream just about. 
but not a lot. So side by side, slowing each other down nicely. Look at that. Beautiful. That's, oh, I'm not going to do that. I could have done that, but would have technically been a legal overtake. Could have probably got away with it this game, but don't want to cheat really, do I? I've gone for Hamilton then up his inside, and I'm alongside past him. Did a Raikkonen, but not quite so bad. That was I just passed him then, so I've just passed my championship rivals. have gone a little bit deep into that corner now for a short. Let's try and stick with the webinar bit of curves to make sure I get DRS on him. And I'm still on Rich. I need to go, get off Rich, but you can see on the minimap we've lost a lot of time to the leaders. The car behind is running on the That's a run wide. Could have been worse, but it wasn't great. And once again, breaking too late. Whoa, well, well too deep. Oh no, this isn't going to be good. <laughs> Use the rest of my curves. No, didn't want that to happen. That's not going well. Come on, get past me. I'm going to get you inside. Oh, he squeezes me there. But I just about managed to get the move done. He's going to come back at me. But no. That Williams, that must have front wing damage. So it seems catastrophically slow in the corners. I probably won't get DRS. No, Hamilton will though. Is there still a DRS there on this straight? I'm not too sure. I don't know there used to be. I think there is, actually. I need to stand it out for this sector when I can get to it. Tight corners. It's difficult to get to my D-pad. And there we go. I'm just going to try and stick with him if I can. I'm definitely losing time in the straights now with my high wings. Stop cutting corners. I was going to get a penalty. Going to go to Rich now to try and get DRS on him. It's going to be outside a second, or no, it's not, but still just try and stay with him. 41 8 from Rosberg. That's a lot faster than me. Stop cutting corners. It's difficult to try and push, but also stay within the track limits. No touch inside barrier, but pretty much got away with it. But I ran wide, though. Can use a lot of my curves now just to try and get DRS on Webber. Come on, gonna use all of it. It's gonna be a risk, but I hope it's paying off. Please tell me that paid off. Seven tenths, yes, I think it did. I'm still on rich now, though. I don't want to be on rich. I'm gonna use all my fuel. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna catch the leaders now, not with this setup. So these two cars are all that really matters. It's Hamilton once again, though. Look with my high wings. Oh, I decided no, that was my fault. A bit bad that I thought about going over, but decided too late. That's just about get all slowed down, I do. Nice and close to Weber now, then. But I expect I'm going to be able to overtake. Not on my wings. Going to go for it. Oh, nearly hit the barrier there. But no, as soon as I duck out, he pulls away again. Look at this. Gone for it. He's not here, Wernardo. Oh, that was close. Managed to hold the apex just enough to keep uh, Weber behind at bait. These wings are actually costing me quite a bit. Just the wings alone. They're in the brake setup and whatnot. Which isn't helping either. Go to Rich again. Oh, that's Hamilton there. He's ran wide. He's only in for a couple of points anyway. But it looks like he's in for none now. Vettel 41-7. I'm nowhere near that. i have to go to Rich again to try and get DRS on Maldonado. Can't risk going standard at the moment because I'm just too slow with this setup. Bit of curves, but don't need a lot. I'm well inside this DRS, so I'm going to go to standard for a minute because I'm so far inside it. Indeed, look, four tenths. My heart seems pretty slow. Let's come on then. Rich Fuel going to use all my curves just to make sure I can get past him on the straight. Even with my high wings, I should be able to do it. Not gaining much on him though, come on. Get on with it. Is he going to go to the inside of the vent? No, he's not. So I should go slow down nicely. And there we go, running that road a bit. They're battling, slow each other down beautifully. I'm going to stick on Rich a minute, see if I can pull out a bit of a gap to him. My wings are going to be so vulnerable, even this straight, let alone the DRS straights. So only lap 5 or 14 then, I'm up to P6, but I think that might be it now. Because of this god-awful setup, I do purple sector though. Granted I have DRS, but even so. As I've got them just outside my DRS zone behind then. 
exactly what I need to do. P6 I am then. And I've just about got no DRS. Very late if this one now, see if I can get it all slowed down. I can fairly easily actually. I'm stay off the track to avoid the curb. I'll come back on and they're probably inside a second. Or oh, just about. He's on full revs, I'm on standard. And he's got a better setup than me, no doubt. Oh, it's that corner. It's terrible. You can cut it and it doesn't you get away with it, but I don't like to if I can help it. But by the time he turned in, it's generally speaking too late. Bit of curse, see if I can get out of a DRS, but I don't think it's gonna be possible, so I'm not gonna waste it. Just outside of DRS, I think that was. I think the sector time is also the protection point, so I think I might get away with that. Use all my curves just in case and go to Rich. Because of my such high wings, not worth risking it. Not such so high, they're uh, 6-6. Six, six. I usually run 1-1 one, one, 11 11 is a max, so it could be worse for sure. This is it, mate. Oh, my gaining on Grosjean ahead. I haven't been watching the gap because I thought I'd never be able to catch him, but he does look a bit closer. I've ran a bit wide there, though. They're battling nicely, holding each other up once again. Beautiful. Am I close to Grosjean now? I'm certainly not losing too much to him. 3.5, we'll remember that. 7 tenths, that was because I didn't have DRS, of course. 3.5 then, wow. Not too much, that could be more, and he's not all that far of the leaders. Not hugely so. Are they starting to pit now? They are, I should have pitted. I'm going to go to Rich now. Hope they get out of in the pits, going to go Rich for a lap. I'm going to pit next lap. I'm the tyre isn't too bad. No, it's not. Trying to cut the corner, still cut it a little bit. Behind me now, but he's a little way back, so I should be okay. In terms of him getting DRS. So come on then. Any minute, I'm gonna be on the faster tire. Might just about be able to reel the leaders in, particularly if they get held up in the pits. Let's do a purple first sector there, so I'm not too far off the pace. I might. So I've run a little bit wide there. Missed my apex a little bit. Took a little bit too much corner speed in. Got away with it though. Come on then, so I was able to maintain the pace on the slow when I was on the slower tyre, they were on the faster tyre. So now the it's all gonna be swapped around. Can I manage to be faster than them? I need to be. Don't think wind's inconceivable here now. Unless the leader was quite a way out, I didn't really see. He's trying to get a little bit of a gap to Weber as well, so he definitely won't hold me up in the pits. Should be right for now. Button ahead there. Uh, I wonder if he's pitted five seconds. Probably not. I can see, well, I won't be here either. Especially if I hold him up a little bit in the pits. Needs to be a bit closer than this to him. Otherwise, he's going to probably come in and go straight back out. I'm not going to hold him up. Gonna break late. No, didn't want to lock that tyre. <laughs> Horribly missed the pit entry, but lock the tyre. I was scared I won't even hit the wall. As I didn't really hold button up, I don't believe. No. Weber, uh, Rosberg rather, he might go hold up a bit. Come on, be quick, be quick guys, come on, go. Yes, not a bad stop. Should be on lean here. Might have already been on lean. This looks like I'm a bit visually closer to the guys ahead. Going to go straight to Rich then. Try and pounce out the pit exit. Don't know who's coming down the pit. Straight, I think it might be all right. Going to go to stand again to save fuel. Oh, no, 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 no. Rosberg's in the way. Oh, what a nightmare. Couldn't do anything about that. What an absolute nightmare. I've lost my front wing damage is on. I would have been up to P4 then if I managed to avoid Rosberg. But I didn't. No flashbacks, of course. No grip whatsoever. We're going to have to come in. Can't do eight laps like this. Don't hit me, Grosjean. <laughs> Typical be Grosjean coming up behind me. It's going to just get it slowed down. Well, that was a nightmare. I ran a bit wide, but I would have made the corner fine. But by the time I started turning the corner, Rosberg was there. Couldn't do anything about it. I just had to hit him and hope I didn't break my wing, but I did. I'm going to defend here just in case. 
Held him up nicely. Oh, lock my tyres. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no chance. Stick to stand that shield to talk about. Don't want to hit him. I'm not bother defending this too hard. Oh, he's backed out of it. So I can only just make that corner, which is a very easy corner without front wing. So, going to have to pit. And I didn't have a chance to win that. Oh, good luck getting that slowed down. Oh, it's not too bad. Could have been worse. <laughs> Try and re-overtake Grosjean. It's not happening in downforce corners, is it? Without front wing. Now, don't get in my way as I come into the pits. It's Weber there, who I was battling with. Has now managed to monster it up through. See if I can successfully take the pit entry now. So that was disappointing. What was that P4 I said, didn't I? Make sure they give me options again. P4 then. I was. Could have even got the win and now I'm sliding down positions wise. Luckily Hamilton I think got taken out as well. Look at this now. Miles back. This race just proves that I don't really do restarts. Must be said I do occasionally do restarts if I get a complete Nonsense penalty. A couple of times did on Monaco, for example, first corner. When you touch anyone, I'll get a penalty, you know, something ridiculous like that. So look, that's the exact way I took it the first time. Just about managed to avoid it this time. But of course, there was a Rosberg in the way last time, and actually, I think I might be behind Hamilton. I hope he doesn't score points. This race is now not going to be points for sure. And even DeResto is going to outrace me. First time all season. Five seconds down on Vern, let's see if we can catch him. So I run a little bit wide there. Tires still up to temperature. Got a bit of fuel left there, we'll use that in a minute when the tires up to temperature. Let's watch that. Well, this is disappointing, isn't it? I don't blame you if you now leave the video or skip to the end, maybe. I would love that option right now. Because <laughs> I ain't scoring points for me yet. Look at the mini-map, it's too far spread. It's not happening, even if this is an accident, it's not happening. Maybe a safety car might happen, but I doubt very much that'll happen. So there we go, that took the sting out of this race, didn't it, for sure. Might add a sting back in the championship though, we'll see. Depending on where Hamilton is. So that was looking good, wasn't it, to extend the lead on Hamilton quite considerably. But it's not right down. I think actually Button might be not far behind Hamilton, so Hamilton might not be, be my main uh, title challenger as it stands. So it turns out Valencia is not my place for luck. If you watch my channel, you would have seen the league race probably. A couple of months ago, I think it was. I didn't use my curse there. Yeah, a couple of months ago. Where qualified reasonably well, felt good there, felt good for the win to be honest, even though there was changeable conditions. But got taken out of the first corner, broke my front wing. And that one was also not my fault. That last one that in this race was, I guess, a tiny bit my fault. I did go a bit too deep, but I would have made the corner. Just unfortunate Rosberg was right there. So there we go. So 4.4 then to... Oh, it was a bit too late. Still just about managed to make the corner. To pick ahead. So I probably will be able to catch him and probably the guy in front of him, but I doubt I'll be able to catch any more. Unfortunately. Oh, how disappointing. I really thought I had a chance at the win there. Especially if someone like Button wins it, who of course I was only a couple of seconds behind at that point with the faster tyre. Especially if I managed to set a fast lap now or something. So my car's start finish straight. I'm going to go to Rich. Probably only going to have a lap or two of that, but still, let's see if I can set a fastest lap or two. Now, once again, about a second in the middle sector alone there on pick. Rosberg, I think he's leading actually, isn't he? There's a 41 7. I don't think he's in a championship fight, but I could be wrong. That seems normal now, but of course, last year, 2012, which this game is based on, was most certainly not normal. Mercedes were horribly slow. We did win one race though, but they were not that quick. They didn't consistently do it. It's a one off, really, that race. And here we go. It's going to go to Rich now, then. Let's have a look at my fuel. Plenty of fuel, and actually that was quite a slow lap, really. Let's see now, if I can manage to pull a fastest lap out of the bag. 
I can pull a fastest lap out. I definitely had a shot, at least at a podium, if not a win. We'll see. Half a second, hopefully. Indeed it is. Almost half a second off my previous time. Wow. That is partly which makes for sure, but not all of it. Just 2.4 to pick ahead now then. Expect I'll have him possibly even this lap, maybe if not next lap. But look at that, he's quite close. I'm not fast him, of course. Much faster car. I'm only being in a Marusha, actually, this year. Of course, 2013 is in a Caterham. But in 2012, he's in Marusha, of course. There we go, the rest of my car is going to be nice and close to him, which is probably a bad thing, because in the high-speed section, I'm going to catch up to him. And then lose time. Still purple, button is out of the fast lap. 